it's Brenda Sue. We're back in the messy workshop today, and we're going to have a brief discussion today on how you can make your own findings in a gunmetal finish. Um, we're finding lately that um, the gunmetal finish has been sort of a problem, although it remains really popular. And one of the reasons why it's a problem is because a lot of our uh, customers who are in the UK and some of the other countries outside of the United States. Um, the regulations in their country are very high against nickel content. And gunmetal plating, while it is very attractive, unfortunately has one of the highest nickel type contents of a plating. Even though my guy that I use uses half the allowable in the United States, there still is a good bit of nickel in it and it is kind of allergenic. So we have decided at Bisu Boutiques that we're only going to be carrying base charm, not charms, but base findings like head pins, eye pins, jump rings, uh, lobster class, and, and chain because mixed metals are really popular. So we're going to go ahead and continue to do that. But the pretty brass stampings that we carry, we're not going to do that anymore. We're not going to have them in the gunmetal because there's just plating issues. They ghost, they iridize, uh, the finish can be brittle. So I'm going to teach you today how you can do a gunmetal type finish with paint that works really well and you won't have the allergy problems. Okay, we kind of started this discussion on uh, my Facebook page this week because Lindsay, uh, one of my friends from the UK, has been concerned about gunmetal and she noted that we are taking it off the site except for just the basic skeletal findings. It's just, what am I going to do? Well, Lindsay, this is what you do. Okay, paint. Simple paint. I used um, this is rather old, so I don't know, you know, any brand. I use flat black spray paint on some of them, not all of them. I did it a couple of different ways. These are the ones that I did. Don't they look great? Don't they look just like the stuff you'd buy at my site? They're a little bit less glossy, and the reason is because the gunmetal that we carried at the site is lacquered. I did that to, to kind of lessen the, hypo, the, the allergenic quality so you'd have a little protection there um, but anyway these aren't so they're a little bit less glossy and what I did is I used this finding which was pre-plated pewter ox which we're also not carrying anymore because it's nickel content so really on these Lindsay I wouldn't happy that much it's just what I had for an example I would recommend finding um, maybe something if you wanted to go over plating get a brass ox piece there's no nickel in brass ox plating um, and the reason I did a plated piece under here is because it gives the, the spray paint a little bit of tooth and I just kind of liked it so um, that's why I did it so that's one way you can do it and on these now they're very matte so I kind of thought that it might benefit from a little bit of sponge diamond glaze over top so this one I see I got a little high place that I need to catch as a little ding there so I'm going to do it on this one but um, basically, you see, this is it's almost like we're lacquering it. Some kind of a fuzzy thing going on in the back. But it'll give it a gloss. And then that way, you know, when it cures, I guess there's some fuzz going on here. And it's giving me some fits. It'll give it a gloss. And this won't take a real long time to cure. Now, ultimately, I'd rather see you do ice resin on a paintbrush or a sponge because diamond glaze has its place. That's why we still carry it. I think it's a fine product. In fact, um, this week on some of the freebies that are going out, we have some little samples. If you live in the United States, because we can't ship it outside, so, Lindsay, this wouldn't help you, doll. But um, it's, it's a crafts product, and it's just not as good as, as ice resin. But it's just fine. For this application, it's just fine. See how nice that's going to look when that dries? It's going to look just great. There's just a little ding right here. Now, before you do it, you know, because this is spray painted, sometimes you'll get these little dings with that. Um, you might want to take some uh, paint or a marker, Sharpie marker even and just fill it in a little bit. This is going to look fine. You'll be able to use it. Now, of course, this won't be a piece that you'll manipulate. This is like a brooch top. So, anyway, that gives you a good idea. Now, these pieces, um, I didn't spray paint. 
I used, let me bring this back over here because I don't want to ruin my white surface. I used Apple Barrel acrylic gloss that you get from Pacatan's, Michael's, Hobby Lobby, any of that. We don't carry this because you can get it anywhere. Um, I used this. It's like $2 a bottle. Really, really inexpensive. And I just sponged it on there. You know, just like this. I'm going to go over this again just to show you how I did it. Just like this. Sponge it on. Front and back. Now this one isn't accepting it as well because I'd actually spray varnished it. So it's kind of like finished, but I saw some little parts I missed. This was raw brass, like this. See, this is raw brass. I went over raw brass on this. So it was not plated first. Okay, so I got it front and back. And then when you spray paint it to seal it, you're going to need to do it front and back, okay? Now sometimes what I do when I'm trying to make a gunmetal painted tight finish, this is really more what, like what they call Japan black, which is like a lacquer, not so much gunmetal. Gunmetal, a real gunmetal has a little silver. So I have my Lumiere paints, which we do carry on the site, and I mix a little bit. And you just get a little bit more, I might even take just some silver on its own, a little bit more of an authentic gunmetal look. Because gunmetal is not really black, black. Although sometimes some of the stuff we've got back from the players was black as night. But it actually has tiny elements of brown and silver in it. So you might want to experiment with your paints. I would suggest brown, dark, dark, deepest chocolate brown, black as night black, and a little bit of silver mixed together and see what you come up with. And then what you do after this is dry, very dry as a bone, what you're going to do then, you could use the Judikins um, Diamond Glaze, but it's filigree, so it may not fill in well. I would, in this case, because it's filigree, do a clear acrylic sealer in a matte finish. And then that, oh, I'm painted, look at that. And then, and then you know, let it dry, and you should be good. The only thing is, the same as with gunmetal that we have plated or that you paint, it does not manipulate really well. So you're going to have to be careful when you manipulate it that doesn't chip. If you manipulate it and it chips, though, and it's a painted surface, guess what you can do? You could just go back in and paint it and cover it again, and it'll be fine. So there you go. There's a homemade gunmetal finish that will work well and um, won't have the plating problems and the allergy problems so much as you would with something with nickel in it.